Okay, it's gonna be bad either way. You can make it private afterwards. Just say the what you came here to say. Oh, hi, I'm doing this. I'm a YouTube science communicator now. Uh, I just noticed that the abbreviation here would be psycho, so I'm a psycho now. Let's do it, you sci fans. Not, not good. Sci intern, sci interest. Uh, not working either way. Here come 10 random facts about the human body that you probably did not know about. But let me first welcome you to Explaining Humans. I'm Margarita, a board anthropologist and cognitive biologist who will be stuffing your brain with scientifically researched facts about the human body, cognition and behavior. So if you want to know which hemisphere is the coolest and how, I'm not gonna do any hemisphere bashing here, so that's a lie. Um, or if you had an orgasm while sleeping last night, good for you then uh, subscribe and stay tuned because that's what this channel is about. Let's get to it! Number one, you have a unique tongue print. So you probably know about your fingerprints being unique, every human that has ever existed has had a different and cre clearly identifiable fingerprint. Tongues have a comparable print which is also unique and can even be used for biometric authentication which is um, an important process for the identification and verification of individuals for security purposes. Or if somebody was found dead and needs to be identified and his ID is missing and his face is unrecognizable because of a burn and he has no fingers because they were chopped off and no teeth because they were punched out or he has no body at all and all he found was a tongue. Well, either way, you can identify a person by his or her unique tongue print. Number two, hair and nails do not continue growing after death. Many brave people who have dared to look into a coffin at a funeral may notice long nails and hair on the body, or at least longer than they thought the person had before dying. Therefore, there is this misconception that fingernails and hair keeps growing after death for a certain amount of time, but they do not. Instead, a person's fingernails and hair may appear longer because the skin around them has retracted due to dehydration, which causes the skin and other soft tissue to shrink. Number three, you can brush your teeth too aggressively. If you're anything like me, your dentist will have suggested a softer toothbrush to you because you overbrush your teeth. This is actually a thing. It is called toothbrush abrasion and it can wear down the enamel of your teeth as well as push back the gums, uh, expose the root area thus and make your teeth become more susceptible to disease. By the way, your teeth are the only body part that cannot really repair themselves. So please, if you feel anything different in your mouth, do not wait for it to get out of hand. Just go to the dentist right away. Number four, you can have an orgasm while sleeping. Men will probably have had the pleasure and will be sure it happens since their orgasms leave its trail, but at least 37% of women have nocturnal orgasms as well, even if they're probably not sure they did. One more reason to have sleeping as your hobby, right? <laughs> Number five, we have a diving reflex. This is a reflex that is being activated when falling into water. Instead of drowning by breathing water in, the body shuts the respiration down while the cardiovascular responses, aka the blood circulation, stays fully operative. Um, have you, for example, ever seen pictures of babies diving? Of course you have. A famous example is the Nevermind album cover from Nirvana. And if you don't know who that is or the album, oh, MG, we have so much work and I wanted to concentrate on science. Either way, this diving reflex may also be the reason why it's so hard for some people to learn scuba diving. You know, when you are supposed to keep breathing through the tube attached to the breathing gas bottle on your back, there you have to overcome this reflex and keep breathing even though everything in your body says you shouldn't. What's next? Number six, your thumb has its own pulse. Well, 
Kinda. There's this comparatively big artery called the princeps pollicis artery, which supplies your thumb with blood. And as all arteries, obviously it pulses, uh, but due to its size, it makes it difficult to feel another pulse with your thumb. This does not mean that the other fingers do not have arteries, it just means that their arteries are not as big to notice the pulsation. You can try it on your own neck, but please do not do it when someone is indeed in need of first aid. Always use your index and middle finger for that. Number seven, you can't breathe and swallow at the same time. If you try, don't. But if you do, you will notice that you're not able to breathe while swallowing food. And it's because of the anatomy of our pharynx, which is part of both the digestive and the respiratory system. This means that it leads into the lungs as well into, as into the stomach. This, if not regulated, would be really dangerous since air in your stomach, but especially food in your lungs, can lead to inconveniences, to say the least. So to avoid that, breathing ceases briefly during swallowing. The upper airway is closing and the pharynx is momentarily a food channel only instead of an airway. The anatomy of tiny humans aka babies, is a bit different and is allowing them to still swallow and breathe at the same time without choking on their mom's milk. And this is really cool. Number eight. Your ears and your nose will never stop growing. While bones stop growing after puberty, the cartilage, aka the rubber kind of stuff you have in your ears and your noses, continues to grow forever. Or at least until you die. This leads to older people having bigger ears and noses. Goodness, imagine me with an even bigger nose. What a blast. If you want to know how Pinocchio's granny would look like, come back here in, let's say, 50 years and let's check. Number nine. There's this thing called nomnesia, which comes from the merging of the words mom and amnesia. It describes a kind of condition pregnant women and early mothers experience where they have memory lapses and keep forgetting details they would otherwise absolutely remember. It is also called pregnancy brain and it is totally real. But the brain does not change morphologically due to the pregnancy. It is rather heavily affected by hormones, sleep deprivation, stress and new priorities focusing on the baby, obviously. So if you are pregnant, notice that you keep forgetting details about where you put something, who you talked to earlier today or what to do next. Be assured you're not the only one and it's gonna go away. At the latest when the kid moves out at 18, right? JK, it will pass. <laughs> Number 10. In cases of extreme starvation or sleep deprivation, the brain will begin to eat itself. Okay, I know this sounds weird, but let me explain. During sleep, some brain cells are clearing the brain of synapses to rejuvenate it. This is a good thing when you get enough sleep. If you don't, on the other hand, your cells will go into overdrive and start hurting and killing other perfectly fine and necessary brain cells instead. Another good reason to go to sleep right now. So to recap, your tongue is a special snowflake. You have to sleep enough otherwise you can't have bonus orgasms and your brain will eat itself. Enjoy your nose and ears while they are still well proportioned, if they ever were in your case. And you have to brush your teeth regularly, but not over brush them. What? Drowning is not as easy and neither is choking on food because our bodies are built really cool. Your thumbs will lie to you when administering first aid. So will the nails and hair of dead people. And you should give young mothers a rest or even take away, always with their consent, obviously, their kids for a few hours so they can actually sleep and maybe they will remember your name afterwards. And with that, we are at everyone's favorite part of every YouTube video ever, where I beg you to support me by liking, subscribing, coming back on Saturday for more explanations. Yeah, that's it. Bye!